You gotta help me, YouTube. Jessica is draining my dark magic. That goddamn bitch will never find my treasure. I'm too scared to admit it, but ending my dry spell is most definitely not what's up. I sacrificed my gothic pay pig kingdom for Baconator Wendy's pussy. I am now a newfound Catholic. Jessica is the devil, YouTube. I have renounced my edgy gothic ways and opened Jesus Christ into my muscular tatted arms, dude. Lord Jesus Christ, you chose to be called the friend of sinners, dude. Free me from my dank sins and bring forth the harvest of love, holiness, and truth because I can't handle this woman anymore. The devil is real and her name is Jessica. I've learned my consequences, dude. And it's manifested into the form of a golem from Virginia. Lord, forgive me for what I've done. Oh my <laughs> How's it going guys? I fucking I love that. I gotta shout out the channel that uh made it. It's Joshua I Sanders. Is there a Joshua? Yeah. It's like Joshua, but then it's like AI at the end. Saunders. It's pretty that was pretty funny. I like that. So what you're telling me is that's the real King Cobra. Yes. Great. <laughs> How is it going tonight, guys? Welcome. Uh, we are covering some some females, some lol cow women tonight. Femoids. Some femoids. You women. I'm scared of those. Dawn of the final day, YouTubes. Yeah, I mean, it's it's getting there. We're getting there. So we're just going to jump into it tonight. We're talking about Queen Cobra, Jessica, a.k.a. Naked and Laughing. Uh, then we're going to talk about uh, Shani for a little bit. I talked about her once a long time ago. Like, we're talking, like, years ago. And uh, we're going to see what she's up to. Uh, I doubt it's going to be, like, groundbreaking, but we'll see. We'll see if we can uh, pick some gems out of that pile of turds. And then we have some uh, interesting Cindy clips to look at, too. Giggs, Andy, Chloe, Cyrax's Doritos bag. How are you guys doing? Hope you enjoy the stream. Hope you uh, hang out, you know. Uh, with us tonight, we have Rusty. We also have uh, Trip, And Hello. we also have Gord, of course. Gord. Hey, Come on, Gord. Gord. Come on, Gord. Gordy. Jessica is most definitely not what's up. That is correct. I would have to agree. That Baconator Wendy's pussy is most definitely not what's up. Makes make I kinda makes you want to say when I heard that. Yeah. Makes you <laughs> Babe, makes... your pussy smells like Wendy's. <laughs> like what pussy fuck? sweat. What 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 the, what the fuck? Thing. Cactus gaming. Welcome. Hi. So uh you guys can see this and hear this, right? So it's still working. Because I don't want you to miss this. This is crazy. Uh Methica is most definitely not what's up. So this is uh this is Jessica telling everyone she put her hand up King Cobra's ass. <laughs> You people act like I haven't fucking washed his ass, like I haven't fucking stuck my... You people act like I haven't fucking that's, literally that's four figures. washed his ass crack. So, uh... Uh... What? She was up at old boy's crack. What's going on here? Is she, is she forcing him to shower? She's like, oh, upset to be up to shower. He's like, god damn it. I, I mean, she might be a hag. hag. But she's still a woman. I mean, come on. <laughs> I love my Josh. I love my Joshy. She has standards. All right. I like uh, the idea that she has a bent over in the bathroom, just like four figures deep in the crack, just wiping <laughs> up and down, getting them clean. Like a big oh, boy. Dude, how far do you think you went like she went up that hole? <sighs> I don't know, bro. As far as the bottom I don't wanna think I don't wanna think I don't wanna think I don't want to think about yeah. her fisting cobes, okay? Dude, yeah, she, dude Cobra also has like an, an elongated ass crack, right? He does. That thing's long as fuck. Well, he's got no ass either. He's like all Hank Hill about it. He's got that back <laughs> and crack. 
<laughs> well, yeah, because he had an assist on his like his upper ass crack that popped. So, oh, like, pile and idle cyst. Oh, fuck, bro, those are yeah. nasty. Oh, dude. Yeah, it popped during job core. Dude, that that can put you out of commission for like months potentially. It put him out of uh, job core for like a week. Long crack jorp. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> so this is a racist rage quit because King Cobra won't knock Jessica up. Most beautiful babies, because it's not gonna be me, because you fucking. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> been you went hard in the babe. My whole fucking live stream. So, Josh and whoever, I hope you have the most beautiful babies. Congratulations, because obviously it's not me, because I'm too ugly. Is she still going <laughs> on about the fucking uh, chatter bay whore? Uh, no, I have no about, idea. Uh, what's her name? Shani looks like Billy the Fridge. <laughs> oh, she does. Oh my god, <laughs> Bruh. But uh, but no, I think she's still oh, going boy. on about that one chick that uh, Josh streamed with earlier. We're not moving over to oh Shani, Courtney. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, I guess. Well, she keeps talking about like breaking up with Josh, but let's be honest, she's just gonna go right back and be like, "Oh my Joshy." But uh, so. We have a couple things here. By the way, I have, I have to shout out the Naked and Laughing subreddit. Uh, a lot of people... There's there's three subreddits that got banned. There was uh, one that was called, you know, King Cobra JFS. And there's another one that was, I think, like, King Cobra JFS with an underscore. And then yeah, another King one that Cobra. was called, like, Josh or Joshua Saunders. Is the Boglum Not still the there? King Cobra, too. There, there's, a, there's a subreddit called Boglum. The Boglum. Hold, oh shit! Hold up. It's a it's kind of a trash fire though compared to uh, King Cobra JFS. But oh, the yeah. one you're talking about, the underscore one, is King Cobra JFS. That's what's up. Oh, that one got banned too. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Let me let me see. Actually. So what's going on here with all these subreds getting just yeeted? Well, I saw the reason that was provided was um. Oh, Boglum. You can see here. Boglum is a private community. The Boglum, not safe for work. Also a private community now. They might have mm -hmm. done this recently after these uh, subreddits got taken down. I don't know. For sure. Boglum went private, yeah. But yeah, so uh, she, she's she been streaming like a crazy amount in the last couple months. Oh, she streams for like 12 hours a day. Yeah, I saw that shit. She so, sleep streams like the IP2 people. We have a bunch of clips here. Once again, shout out to the people at the Naked and Laughing subreddit. A lot of uh, people have migrated over there. Refugees from the other uh, annihilated uh, servers. Not servers. <laughs> the well, uh, subreddits, yeah. To be fair, though, a lot of, like, Josh's shit over the past, like, uh, month has been uh, all about naked and laughing. Yeah. So it's, it's only, you know, it's only right. Yeah. I mean, this subreddit might get banned soon, too. Who knows? It's not long for this world. Yeah. No. I'm worthless as fuck. I can't even get my own boyfriend to call me back. At least she speaks truths. He's he's in the chat at this, this moment. Meanwhile, this, right. this is what he's doing. Yeah. Okay, I could have sworn he was what in the crab? chat. What is this crab? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like crab. <laughs> Jesus. Geek uh -oh. says, "What's even going on?" Um. I don't know how to explain this shit to you succinctly if you don't keep up with King Cobra and at this point Jessica as well. Let's just say that King Cobra is a YouTuber if you're familiar with him who's like a lol cow who just mostly he was it was different before but mostly now he just sits at home drinks alcohol and live streams but lately he hasn't really been live streaming he's been fucking around with this Jessica girl who's basically insane fucking she acts like a fucking meth head. She's constantly tweaking. She's constantly having like meltdowns and like going all over the place emotionally and mood wise, and it's just a mess. I don't know how to explain it besides just that. Grab yeah. legs. This is what was going down while this stream was happening. Apparently, he was making a dank cooking video. What? <laughs> Blaring and loud. Yeah, just kind of be honest, you check on it. It's a Cobra classic right here. Man, as someone from Louisiana, that crab boil looks disgusting. He's making piss crab. 
Crab shell, the oh, shell no. on the outside needs to be like red. You know what I'm saying? That's ain't other crab like You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to use like Cajun crab oil. Lambert asks, oh shit, that voice crack, holy fuck. <clears throat> Lambert asks, why was she crying? I missed most of it. Um, I think she was trying to get him to call her, and I don't know. See, the problem with her is that sometimes you see this and you might feel bad if you're uninformed on like what's going on, but she is absolutely insane. She's been like threatening to kill people recently. She's been saying all sorts of stuff, like calling people, you know, the N word constantly. We could go on and on. Just trust me. Like she's a horrible person. Yeah, she has BPD. Um, mm -hmm. So like her, like her uh, mood, like flops around like all the time. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't um, make her a horrible person. But how she behaves, regardless of that, is uh, inexcusable. <laughs> So is this crying real or is it fake? It, this is totally mm. not real. You think this the is fake? Look, the eyes oh, it's look so dramatic. Wet. The eyes look a little wet, but like... Mm. I, I will say I am undecided. No, I'm not gonna... That's the thing, that's the thing though, she's... Chloe says absolutely fake. Um, yeah. I, I, like, I, I might be tipping a little bit more that way, but... I'm not gonna say one way or the other. Uh, it, it does kind of seem fake now that you guys are calling it out. Nobody cried like that, yeah. That's the thing, too, but I was going to mention, she's so manipulative, and she's so fucked in the head that, yeah, it's very possible she could just be faking all of this. Yeah, she's she, doing it so that, you know, she could say, oh, look at how bad Josh treats me, and, you know, yada, yada, and this yeah, and that. She's, she's, like, crying purely out of, like, self, like, pity, like... Mm -hmm. Do you, do you think, Rusty, do you think this is because of all the uh, allegations that she's an abuser, that now she's trying to, like, flip the script to try and make it seem like, oh, Josh is just a bad boyfriend, you know? Well, we have to talk about the sicko shit now, right? Oh, yeah. So, hold up one second. We have, before, yeah. we, get, before we go any further, we have to say, uh, first of all... Fuck sickos. Say, and on top of that... I, I want sickos in jail, too. Okay? People who want to hurt children do belong mm -hmm. in prison. Okay. We so, didn't hear the sound drops. That, uh, no, 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 no. You weren't, you weren't meant to. Anyways, it's going to echo I if I even... sickos, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. We've, I think we all would agree that we hate sickos, and we want to see them brought to justice. That being said, um, Jessica was at best or at worst... Like, we're, there, there's some speculation that's involved here, but apparently she's being accused of putting up an ad on, like, Craigslist for, um, like, an exchange of, like, money and sex or something with somebody who was underage. And people looked into this because uh, Jessica was denying it. And it turns out this was, like, somebody she was hanging out with a while ago. Remember, you, you guys remember her saying that she lost all of her friends because she was smoking weed, right? Yeah, right. so this is a... Uh, yeah. So this is just There's a, so many a layers theory. to it. This is a theory, though, but uh, she made an account with this girl, a picture of this girl who, like, was standing next to a street sign, so she basically kind of, like, doxed her, too, right? And she gave, like, her name, uh, her phone number, um, and the only way I could think, like, that you'd know all of that information is if you knew them personally, right? So I'm thinking that this has to be someone that Jessica used to know. And this mom, so what happened was um, she did this uh, and the mom of the daughter called the police and there was like an investigation by like, not the FBI, but uh, do you, uh, uh, State Rusty, do you- State police? Uh, Rusty, do you know the uh, organization? It's like- a I Alpha do not know the organization, no. But it's it's an organization that looks into like child abuse and stuff like that and like sex trafficking. And uh, so. Jessica was working at Home Depot at the time. She worked at Home Depot from like 2015 to like 2017, apparently. Yeah. Uh, that's what I learned from like Jessica Mesca because apparently uh, she got an apron with like, uh, oh, you've been working two years here. So you got employee of the month or whatever, or cashier of the month. Yeah. And uh yeah, so the mom found, like, she saw that, oh, this is Jessica, because the, the daughter pointed her out. And then she wrote that post. Um, what was it, in 2016? Yeah, that was 2016. Yes. Mm. 
Yeah, so in 2015, she did all this bullshit to this girl, I think. Confirmed sicko. Man, it's, it's just disturbing. That and also, like, the story that she told over the phone with, like, Josh, like, while they were being reported by, like, the fan, while she was, like, yelling at Josh and beating up on him or hitting herself, you know, just abusing Josh. She said that she lost all of her friends because some, like, young girl, like, told on him, like, told on her, yeah. like, someone's younger sister. She um, just paints herself as the victim. Well, it would <sighs> make sense if she lost somebody as a friend over smoking weed if that person was a minor and then maybe their parents found out. Well, that's that's probably what happened. Yeah. Like, the younger sister she never like a minor. Something like that, I'm, I, I'm guessing. Like, her stories are just, like, unreliable because she just, like, never tells the truth. Like, Yeah. Well, I uh, feel like she has... I feel like she has no reason to lie about some details, uh, like, hey, like, people and places, but, like, what the scenario that went down, like... Yeah, it's probably a lie. Man, this this place looks fucking depressing. Yeah, it's either a lie or like half of, or kind of like a half lie, you know, with Bruh. like some truth to it, you know, like. Yeah, I think it's like you said, a half lie. Like I think the people and the places uh, and the times are probably true, but I don't think like what actually went down was what happened. Like no one's no one decided to not be friends with her because she was straight and pretty, you know. <laughs> like she said, and no one probably, you know, stopped being friends with him because, you know, just because of weed. Christian Sosa in the chat says, hey, wizard in chat. What's up, dude? Let's check out this clip, too, because this is going back to what I was saying before about her kind of implying, like, oh, I can go fuck other women. He's single, whatever. Josh can have what he wants. Josh is single of King Cobra. Cat. Josh is she single. flops back and forth. He can have any. Um, hey, now going, that Josh is fucking uh, from the yeah, yeah, house that he's been waiting for. Yeah, that's for like an old person's like uh, <laughs> <horror> home. <laughs> yeah. Look, there's another. There's the lol cow parallels. It's like the horror home. It's very Christian. Yeah, I was yeah. just about or, to say this is Jared. very. This is like Christian. Uh, I forget what this is, but I Jessica it Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> but what did I do? I don't give a fuck if other people paid for it. I'm the one that fucking accepted it. It's my time to fucking fly out here. <laughs> I love when she goes demon mode. Yeah. Oh, she was going scurvy mode, bro. She sounded like a pirate there. Do you remember the uh, bathtub video? I love it, like, when her dad uh, is like, It's done now! Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Unhinged, yes, Giggs is correct. This is her just tweaking. <laughs> she loves to do her Cyrax dances. <laughs> The like Cyrax or like choreography. It's like she's possessed by Pazuzu. Yeah, she she kind of is like the female Cyrax in a lot of ways. <laughs> as much shit that uh Josh has talked on Cyrax, understandably so, but still, I mean he's kind of dating Cyrax now. She also like insults people like Cyrax too, if you think about it. So she sees a bit of herself in him. What are we being judgy about today, chat? What kind of comment is that? Do we have what? Do we have a Cindy stand in the chat right now? Uh, we are uh, objectifying women today. That's what's going on. <laughs> no, we're not. Why would you say that? We're being based and red pilled. Yeah, no, not not that Ooh. either. Based and incel pilled. A great comment. Thanks. A, yeah, a great comment in the chat. Thanks for your contribution to the stream. Anyways. I mean, we're just, like, judging some, like, uh, weird, like, unprincipled, you know, person on the fucking internet. Don't even bother like, responding to there's them. There's kind of, I don't know, there's kind of an, a reason for it, like... Wasted energy even responding to <laughs> Look at that dead eye. 
Oh, there's nothing behind that eye. Oh, wait till you get a fucking hate channel. I fucking hate you. Oh my god. I have to boost the audio here. One sec. This is way too quiet. Thank you for having a live stream so I could comment. You're welcome. I uh, hope you enjoyed your time here. Goodbye. <laughs> you so much and you want to fucking blow your fucking brains out. We have to wait. Think about it like this. We have to wait like months on end to get like a freak out like this what from Josh, she? right? What is she doing? This is an every night occurrence with Jessica. Oh, exactly. You haven't fucking seen the most. Oh. Is she hitting the phone against her head? She's hitting something. Yeah, God bless. Click. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. You haven't fucking seen them. Oh, you haven't seen the most of it, but you want to cry about it. Oh. She's kind of like Daniel. Yeah, she's smashing that off her head. Yeah. What? Uh, what the fuck? She hasn't cracked her screen glass. Is that her bathroom? I have no clue. Whatever looks it looks like her bathroom floor. Yeah, yeah, it looks like tiles. Cyrax is Doritos bag says, yeah, this is oh, approaching yeah. Larson level of freak out. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. It's, it's on par. Do you know about the tile fetish, Rusty, or whatever? <laughs> no, I've got to wear this. this. That was like some fucking thread on 4chan. I figured you would have because <laughs> going there, but yeah. So hold on. I don't know. I don't know if they had like a fetish for like bathroom tiles, but they just had like a folder like full of different like patterns of like bathroom so, tiles. So that sounds about dude, right. Like, this dude goes to like Home Depot or Lowe's, and he just like, <laughs> he just, like gets free tile. Yeah, he gets like free tile samples. He just collects them. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right. So yeah, she really does look like Billy. <laughs> we have some. Uh, we have some Shanny. Hold on, it. hold on. Now that you said that, Shanny the Free. Yeah, I was gonna say Shanny <laughs> the Free. Oh, thank you guys. So I, I was doing some research. It seems like Shanny like faked having cancer to try and yeah, get donations. She, she That's a common thing. Breast cancer. What the fuck? One love. She's such a piece of shit. One love. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, she's so, like uh, she's yeah. creepy. She has she's got really bad, bad oily hair. Have. Jesus Christ. Lambert just says, wow. Feel good in Lambert. Uh, <laughs> not a good wow. Me, on the other hand. Chris jumps, is like, not a sweet, not a sweet I, girl. I don't, I don't care I about think the shaming. I jumped, uh, I think I jump scared Lambert. <laughs> the tried to explain right. my life, even though they don't know who I am. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, hold up. Look at her scalp. I don't give a shit anymore. You know. She has eczema on the top of her head. And to explain my life, even though they don't know who I am. Uh. <laughs> oh god it's just like jared they don't know who i am like you know what i um. mean <laughs> guys i post every day yeah i put like but so much who I am. Up on the internet that looks rough <clears throat> and that i don't give a shit anymore burn you know i'm at a point is that in my life. forehead is that a pimple or is that like a I beauty it's like a wall. i don't even want to know i'm just gonna choose me <laughs> to pustule me? I'm gonna choose my husband, and I'm gonna choose my sons and my cats. That's that's where I am, you know. Uh, she doesn't she have, have her children, like, and she's not married. You yeah, like her, and her kids were taken away, and... right? Yes, because yeah. she was abusing them. I mean, that that like the only thing that's gonna happen is you know you get and blocked. Still, like, and made... Oh my god, I remember this. Did you guys ever see like the sex tape that her and like Rev made, <laughs> where like Rev is hitting it from the back? No, <laughs> I never want to see that in my life. I know I that's where baby carrot dick came from. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could smell it through the video. Like <laughs> she got that gre she got that grilled cheese pussy, and you pull it apart, and there's like a cheese pull. <laughs> that nasty shit, bro. Somebody's talking about a yeast infection in the chat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Genuinely, one of the grossest things I've it's ever seen. Freaking feta down there. Looks like female her... Jupiter the hybrid. I don't know who that is. Yeah, Jupiter she does. the hybrid. <laughs> who the fuck is uh, that? 
Maybe I was going to say, I bet her pussy smells like Wendy's, too. It smells like the <laughs> dumpster in the back of Wendy's. <laughs> uh, but, like, I got better things to do with my life. Really? Oh my god. Dude, Jared, really? like, says, Jared like says the same thing. Yeah, she's not employed, right? She's like yeah. a government welfare leech. Yep. Never oh, gonna work. Oh, they live with uh Rev's uncle, I believe, Wait. still. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Like so this is the story, like so Rev's uncle or someone like get, like he got a like Rev got a bunch of money and he got a house, right? He the lottery. Fifty thousand dollars. I thought it was a hundred thousand dollars. Seven hundred and fifty, I believe. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Rev and Shani like moving into this new house, and somehow G Man, you remember G Man from the Drunken yes, Peasants? I do. What? Somehow G Man fits in this equation too. That's so weird. Apparently, G Man was like homeless, and they like put him up in a house or some shit, and now they like, and eventually they're Damn. like, "Oh, you owe me rent now," because they went oh. broke. They, they sold uh, in the mix. They oh. uh, Rev sold uh, G Man the house for a dollar. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> that's actually insane. That's that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Good on him. Rev had yeah, a wet brain, move. and Shani manipulated him into selling that house for a buck. Yeah, apparent. I heard that he um tried to like. I think he was either forced to, or he tried to go cold turkey on um alcohol. But yeah, she made him it go was, cold turkey. It was so bad that he got um brain damage. I think. I, I also I heard. heard I heard that she's like addicted to like Delta Eight like weed like the shitty weed. That's yeah, wild. that's one of their big vices. Is Delta it's Eight weed that you buy from like the local gas station? They're not even smoking yeah. real weed. <laughs> no. Wow. I tried Delta Eight and it like gave me a fucking headache. Yeah, that's what yeah, I've it, heard. It, I, it's basically Reggie. Delta 9, though, is, like, way better. The only time I've tried it is when I had um, a weed drink up here they have called the Space Elevator. And it's um, it's a pretty good drink. Tastes pretty good. It's 10 milligrams of Delta 9 THC and 20 milligrams of Delta 8 THC. And that I, sounds nice. I took it with a few other edibles, and I was pretty, I was pretty good. I was pretty buzzed. They sold the house to G-Man because they had spent all the money Jason got and couldn't afford the taxes. Makes sense, I guess. And there's much more interesting to, to do on the internet than what, I guess, you guys do. <laughs> what? You haters. Uh, my haters, my trolls. You haters, debaters. This this is just fucking unhinged. I know, ultimately, God is my Avenger. <laughs> oh, that's what it sounds like, Jared. <laughs> yeah, it sounds God like Jared. God is like your I, Captain America, your Iron Man, your Incredible Hulk. You know, ultimately, yeah, we'll that everything that happens to me is under God's will. Because see, I'm, I'm being still, you know, and I'm waiting on him. And whatever I need, I ask, and he gives. Haven't you ever heard God helps <laughs> those who God. help themselves? Ah, oh, man. This also poses the question, did she ask God to take her children away? Well, Listen, she, God works God, in mysterious ways, okay? Yeah, no, God saw that she was struggling to be this little bastard. Oh. So, I found this. It's called the I Wipe Your Butt fight between Rev and Shani. I like it. Oh. Lighten up. Whoa, hold on. I gotta what guess this. Wait. Hold on. Is, 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 is Rev about to say, I wipe your ass for you. You can't talk shit to me. Something like that. Uh, let's see. I have no idea. I haven't watched it yet. This is crazy. Oh my god. I did though. We didn't look at it in a sexual way. We just looked at it in a historical way. (laughs) What? Oh my god. They're fighting. They're fighting over some movie. Fuck. This is nuts, you guys. I don't care. I don't care. Commentary on top is fucking annoying. They're laughing at me. Everyone laughs at me. I'm shocked. Everyone laughs at me. It doesn't make any difference. It's not laughing. I'm shocked. That's not normal to watch with your father. Well, I did. It's not normal. Wait, what? I watched The Walking Dead, dead with my dad, too. Y'all, it's not crazy. They're, no They're fighting. They're fighting really bad. Oh, pornography. Guys. Oh, my God. Spartacus. I think some people will disagree with that. But okay. Yeah, okay. They show pussy and dick. It's porn. Spartacus is porn. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. Spartacus is like the, uh, the like the show, like the Spike TV kind of like show. I think. You, do you know what I'm talking me? about? 
Oh, oh, hold up. Super Supergirl92 in the chat says, This fight was hilarious. This was after Rev got caught messaging another woman who sent nudes to him. <laughs> oh, this might have been the chick on Instagram that was uh, messaging him. There was a huge fight about that. I could be wrong on that one, though. It sounds like it. Yeah, why don't you just go get a bottle of scotch and dump it right in front of me, Shannon? In a no, I don't buy alcohol. You do. Unbelievable. You're so disgusting. Unbelievable. Inconceivable. To me. Wow. There you go, calling me disgusting again. To me. You're disgusting to me. Why? When, when I Damn. wipe your ass for you. Oh my god! god. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. Yeah, you called it. That's I clean love. you like a nurse. You said yesterday oh how my yesterday god. I am with you. That's love. I clean you like a we nurse. Said he said that's love. Yes. Wow. And you do this to someone that loves you. I'm that not doing anything to you. Yes, you are. What? Wow. Yeah, oh, checking every day in Jared's server. You <laughs> <laughs> And you are the one that started attacking me when I was supporting you. I didn't attack you. Jared asked. just wants a woman who will wipe his ass for. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Supergirl in chat says that Spartacus was a show on Stars with Lucy Lawless, so it actually had a porn star in it. I think. Yeah, yeah. No, I watched Spartacus too. Like, um, and the show, like, you could watch it with your parents, but like, there's a lot of fucking in it, and there's like a lot of like, you know, nudity in it. So, it is what it is. <laughs> he sounds like Ben Shapiro. Yes. <laughs> ben would contend otherwise. No. Shut up, Ben. I asked a question because they all seen it anyway because she sent it to them. You're disgusting to me. Wow. I'm for asking a question. No. I said you are disgusting to me. Why? Wow. Are you disgusting? To me? Why? You keep eliminating me. You do that all the time to me. Like I don't exist. You want to nullify my existence. What That's are you how talking much you about? hate me. You hate me so much that you want to see me be nothing. What am I saying? That's I love when I'm Rev sure. gets real. You're saying yeah. I mean, Every once in a while he snaps. That's true. why you, yeah, you took me to Colorado. I, mean, I took you to Colorado? to get me away from everybody that I ever knew. Wow. Oh my. Man with wet brain still is more coherent than King Cobra. God. Just ah. oh wow. my. Aang can actually stand up to a woman. Oh, Jason. It's I mean, at least in this instance. No, you yeah. asked me where yeah. I would want to go in, in order to save even... the relationship. Yeah, because you said Boulder's Dry County, which was totally untrue. I th it was. used to be. Totally untrue. It was untrue. I thought it was. Yeah, let's go smoke weed, Jason. <laughs> that's not what was said. Let's go. No. I said I was happy as in Colorado. That, that's cool, but that's what you did. And, and every day, three times a day, sometimes you go to the dispensary. He's just using so much money. Dispensary. Wow. Whoa. I do what they said. Uh, it is I sped do. up, yeah, because the last video sped up. Oh, $300 oh, a time. So Sorry, $300 go ahead. at a time. That's wild, man. Yeah, they like, do sound like so Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Like, okay, Wiz, you can even you can when it's sped that, up, like, though, at least here on YouTube, it doesn't increase the pitch. It only Shannon for Christ, hold on, Shannon for Christ is smoking ounces Christ. of Delta. Yeah, she's smoking ounces of Delta A weed. How crazy is that? She's blowing oh, through yeah. it. It's not, it's not, yeah, it's oh, not very Jesus, potent. So you can go through it really quick. Oh, my Lord. They're probably going to tolerance. Jesus. What <laughs> happening? Turn the fucking camera off. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord, Help me, Lord Jesus. Jesus, take the bong. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We got a lot of Cindy stuff to get through, so. Uh, we're it's doing time. Uh, Cindy warning, I guess. He's a okay, big, like, go. Sims fan. I think I have that same Yoshi. Plushy. <laughs> I think that's what that is. Once again, we have to we have to give a big, huge uh, shout out to the Cindy Clips channel for uh, clipping this stuff and making it so that you can actually like kind of keep up with what she's doing, or at least see and hear the interesting bits because she is fucking yeah. unwatchable, dude. Uh, the, the Sims poster is just making me laugh. <laughs> I think seeing the Sims on it, which is <laughs> the, funny. <laughs> the title of this is Cindy Gaslights Everyone About Her Drinking Problem. So no alcohol, no drinking in January at all. And so far, it's going It's like right. a French Sims kind of poster. I was like, kind of depressed. I was like, what am I going to do Listen, if I don't go out to like the bar? <laughs> which I know sounds really sad. And it is. It is. And that was when I realized like, okay, I really do need to completely stop drinking, at least for the month. Probably mm -hmm. longer. 
Also, I have stopped drinking. Um, I have not had a drink through this, which is amazing to me because you do not know how badly I want to drink. Um, my alcohol problem was getting way out of control. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna destroy myself anymore that way. It's not gonna help. I haven't had anything to drink. I'm not going to drink. Number six is to stop drinking. Stop yes. drinking. And I have <laughs> been sticking to this. Like I have not been drinking or even taking kava uh, for the past couple weeks. Well, I want to go further than that too. and make sure that I don't keep, What's I'm kava? not gonna. Uh, it's it's kind of like Kratom. It's some kind of like root. Oh, uh, can you buy it in pill um, form like a smoke shop? I've heard it's similar to Kratom. No, you, you drink it like Kratom, yeah buy any uh, alcohol or keep any alcohol you in the either drink it so i'm not saying i'll never drink again it just like you know special occasions vacation when i go out with a friend or something like that but i'm not going to be drinking daily and i'm not going to keep any alcohol in my house and my i can definitely tell a difference in my skin because i haven't been drinking any alcohol so my skin always looks better when i don't um i rarely drink anymore i did i had a drink on the week whoa oh wait what the change up here weekend because she's saying she's like i'm not drinking at all not drinking at all now she's like you know i rarely drink and then that was the last i haven't had one yeah saturday i had a drink that was like the last time and the, the first time and the last definitely time definitely like while. bouncing back and forth but yeah i know? never drink i i like i've lost all the urge to drink like i've lost all if you lost all urge to drink then why did you recently drink hmm interest in it would you consider going to a bar and letting guys buy you drinks? I'd do that like every weekend. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what? Sydney's 40 and out on the prowl. She's also like completely like contradicting herself. Like, That's Sydney. <laughs> Cindy needs to get with Jared, dude. <laughs> oh no, yeah, please yeah. no. I'm not gonna turn down a free drink. <laughs> Oh god, what is this laugh? I drink on the weekends. I drink No, I don't I don't sit around drinking at home anymore, but if I go out on the weekend, yeah, I'll have a drink or two. I don't know. Is it okay? Like, yeah, is on, it, a, on a Friday or Is it fair to say that if you're like a recovering alcoholic, you just shouldn't touch like alcohol in general? Like I would say I, so. I don't know. <laughs> just stay the fuck away. Yeah, and just be honest. Just stop Saturday lying, night. Though. Yeah, I'll have a drink or two. Yeah, I, I can like I can handle myself now. The yeah, thing about it no is, once you go through that, like your you know your your like brain chemistry like changes. Like guys, I know I said I wasn't drinking anymore, and I haven't been drinking uh, except for uh, every weekend when I go out to the bars, <laughs> and uh, you know on some days here and there. But the good news is. That I can handle my shit now. So it's fine if I just drink all the time. I'm fine. Drink on the weekend, man. It's like, at what point does this... Just... Being an alcoholic, like... Yeah. I don't. It hasn't caused me any issues or made me come home and start guzzling vodka or anything. So I think I'm all right. <laughs> sounds sounds like you, before you got home, you were guzzling vodka. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, just her saying that puts that idea in my mind. Like... She's got, like, this very nervous kind of... Seems like kind of fake laugh going on here. I don't know. <laughs> it's oddly specific too. Like... Yeah, this is Cindy saying she yeah, never that's, farts. Yeah, that's this... like yeah, that's obvious. Yeah, the vodka thing is very oddly specific. Yeah, this is very funny. Like super easy and like smooth and like I when you're on carnivore, your dumps are like so just. You know, they're uh, so smooth. I don't know what to tell you. I don't even want to fucking think you about the carnivore You don't have gas either shirts. when you're on the carnivore diet. Did you know that? Uh, okay. Wizard, have you heard of the sicko allegations about Jessica? Yes, we talked about it earlier in the stream. Because there's nothing fermenting in your guts. Is Cobra going to be true to his like values? No. He's not going to no. believe the trolls. Like He's vegetable matter and fiber produces gas. Okay, okay, okay. So, so I never fart. I'm just going to say this. If you shit, you fart. Yeah, exactly. You know? Also, like, farting is like a sign that, like, your body, your bodily function is, like, you know, doing yeah. its thing. Like, you're backed up. That's why you're not fucking farting. Yeah. You don't get it, guys. So Cindy's never... too perfect to fart. That's what it is. <laughs> no, I, need either... I need to play this again. One sec. So I never fart. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> 
I don't I don't eat any fiber, Taylor. I don't consume any fiber at all. Not Man. a single milligram of fiber ever gets into her body. It doesn't happen. Eats eats like a freaking cat. It's just bunless fucking McDoubles. Yeah, that's it's it. It's so sad. Oh god, I don't know about this one. A sad world when a girl will break a boy just because she can. Oh no. <laughs> She's just admitting it all right here. <laughs> Her psycho shit. Help me, but don't tell me to deny it. Well, I've done wrong and I want to suffer for my sins. Sometimes. Oh god. I just have to burst into song. I love to sing Criminal by Fiona. I'm so quirky, guys. When Andrew was here, my god, he's a. Oh. Why is there. there okay. Uh, so I saw, like, you know, the box. So, like, there's a bunch of packages there, and like, then in the prior, and then the prior video, there's, like, a bunch of, like, shipping boxes, like. People send like a... her things. Uh, either that or, or, like, she might do shipping for, like, work. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Like, oh, does she... The mess. I feel like all I was doing was, like, cleaning up like after her. Jesus Christ. This is so funny. When Andrew was here, my God, he's a mess. I feel like all I was doing was like cleaning up after him. Jesus Christ! He's what? A mess. You're a mess. <laughs> you never <laughs> agree either. No, I mean, I like you're not having my space and everything staying clean and stuff. There's shit everywhere. Um, dishes need to be mm -hmm. done. Like my I, my crock. That's not even that bad. You can spend less than five minutes and get that looking fucking perfect. But it's still over here dirty from when I cooked the roast and fucking clean it then. And I'm pretty sure that my air fryer is also dirty. This is what the dining room looks like. Right? Go it's not once fryer. again. Once again, not bad at all. Take two seconds to just tidy it right up. Now out. it is yeah, a bit of a mess. There's fryer. clothes. It's a mess. Everywhere, stuff all over the table. Those roses that my ex-boyfriend got, got a question, me. Mom. Oh god. Do any of you guys own an air fryer? I, yeah, I, I do. For a minute. We all own one, don't we? Are they worth getting? Yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Fucking air fry everything after you get it. Yeah. This is um this is what we're working with, and this is the backdrop to my live stream. We were looking for a bunch of cords. Then clean it the fuck up. Birds for stuff and just like I just made this mess even worse than it already was. Like she's admitting that she's responsible for all this mess. Um, this is all trash that's piled up over here. And take it out oh, to the well, trash I then. The fucking groceries or something Ooh. for a second. And my trash can when, is overflowing. When days. Well, take out the trash. Yeah, take out the fucking I'm trash. Gonna bring, wrap that shit and take it out. Oh look, guys. Like what? There's trash on the floor. Um, there's all these dirty dishes. I like, I, okay, if I was her, I would just stop recording and s just start fucking to get to it. You see that scrub daddy in the sink? It's like, put yeah. that fucking scrub daddy to use, goddammit. It looks like it's never been yeah, used. It's a, yeah, it's a fresh freaking scrub daddy. Come on. Yeah, those those spongers are nice. As are far nice. Not even they using are. it. The counters are gross. The sink is gross. There's stuff everywhere. It's <laughs> not that bad. Half drink bottle of Jim Beam. Yeah, yeah, drink that Jim Beam and start cleaning or some shit. Chloe, <laughs> Chloe in the chat says, just do your damn dishes. Yeah, exactly. Put that shit in the cabinet and do your dishes and clean up. I knew so, someone who would like someday. they would clean when they were when they were drunk. They would like do the dishes and shit, do the laundry, and they're like inebriated. I want to get a maid. So come clean my house like twice a week. I don't be so you guys ever... What a waste of money in this instance. Like, come on. Freaking incredible. Maybe if you have a massive house with all this crazy shit going on, it's like, okay, fine. And you have a family, I can understand it maybe, but... And I'm really hoping I can make that happen someday. All my dreams would come true if I... Oh my god. Then do it. Clean your room, Cindy. We got some more. We got a bunch more still. All right, what's this? Hitting. Oh God. Oh God. In the fucking drive-through every single day because I just cannot cook for myself right now. So I went to McDonald's and I got my. Yeah, because cooking basic, th like you can just cook basic things. You know, like have like a ba like bacon and egg for breakfast. Get some fruit. Get some vegetables. It's Make, too like, bothering. Make a basic stir fry. It's really not though. My it usual... requires effort. Cindy doesn't have any effort in her. 
Well, well if you want to be a bit, fucking yeah. adult and live in the real world, these things they take, you know, sometimes minimal effort. Double quarter pounder. She just needs to grow the fuck up. Two McDoubles. I eat them without the bun. I ate all that, and it's then I went there. We go. Here. It's like the flannel. The McDoubles. I was still hungry later in the day, so I ordered a pizza, and I couldn't order from Pizza Hut because that reminds me of Andrew too much. So I got Domino's just out of spite. No one cares. So I got a large <laughs> meat lovers or whatever it's called at Domino's, like meatza or something, meat pizza. And I ate half of it yesterday as well. So I w it was just a day where I just needed a lot of food. And some days <laughs> I'll hardly eat anything. And other days I'll eat a lot. And I just listen to what my body needs at the time. Um, so I only Yeah, need, not a want, definitely. No, I'll eat the toppings on eating disorder. Throw a chicken breast on the air fryer and boil some veggies. Simple as fuck. Exactly. Also, pizza, I don't eat the crust, which makes it kind of a waste of money. But believe me, when you were feeling... Then don't fucking waste food. Feeling as bad as I was feeling yesterday, you just don't fucking care. And you will shell out the $25 to get somebody to deliver an ass load of pizza toppings. $25? Things directly to your door. Pizza toppings? She's gonna throw out the whole... So I'm about on. to heat up some of this pizza and scrape the toppings off and eat it. Less so I'm just gonna grab... Oh, bro, that's for sure. Bro, she's she's just gonna eat the toppings off of it. Plate, yep. and I'm just. She's gonna oh, waste no. the rest. Oh my god! She's gonna throw out the actual pizza. She really likes pizza bowls. I'm not like super ravenously hungry bowl. because I did eat so much. No. Dude, buy a fucking but pizza yesterday. bowl. So I'm just gonna heat up Domino's, these two pieces. Dude, like, think and how the cheaper it'd be just to DoorDash like mozzarella cheese and like sausage and you know pepper. Yeah, just get yeah, just DoorDash like ingredients from the fucking grocery store. I mean, yeah, it's I was still gonna say, expensive, but even if not you got nearly the, as bad. Even if you got the ingredients from the grocery store and just combined it, it would not take that much effort or time. How I feel if I want the other two pieces or not. Uh, I don't think they want some fucking like Domino's or Pizza Hut now. Dude, don't mention Domino's to me. Put right it on now. the pizza on setting in my microwave, so let's see. On the bulk. As long as it's warm I enough. On the bulk. I was loving I'm, the bulk, bro. I'm, 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 I got the bulk. I feel like. Bulk. Yeah, weight loss stream is coming back soon. I'm at 234 right now. I've managed to like keep it, you know, somewhat stable, losing a couple pounds here and there. Yeah, you have a head start. But I on need, right I now. need to lose more. Yeah, you said you're like 250 right now. Yeah, I'm at uh, just yeah. under 250. Yeah. Like scrape it off. I think it's okay. It's very so, yeah, this is how I eat. The oven, then the microwave. Look at this shit. Pizza on the carnivore yeah, diet. I just take a fork and I just disgusting. scrape it off. Now uh, heated uh, up pizza. I feel like I'm probably eating some of the bread, but it's probably not enough to make a difference. It hasn't seemed to to me, and I don't do this a lot. Just when either I go out. So basically, she's eating an assortment of like sausage, pepperoni, which isn't. That's still like pork, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's and like then pork and beef. there's Cheese. ham on it. It's all just pork, isn't it? It's like all it looks pork. like it. Yeah, pepperoni is like a mixture of pork and beef. Okay, but they, there's like the the little pink bits is ham. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and the brown is sausage, which is it's all pork, pretty much. Yeah, Maybe so like very beef. very fatty, very salty meat. So like very low. Um, very, very low nutritional in, uh, value. Very saturated high saturated fat. Fats. Yeah. And like you said, very salty. And she's not even eating any. Like, dude, she wastes food like crazy. Not with people and pizza is the only thing I, that's, that's there to eat. Or You're not eating a pizza. This is not a fucking... We're eating I pizza toppings. Pizza. But I try not to make this a regular thing because it is a lot of cheese and who knows what's in these ingredients. But this is pepperoni, Italian sausage, beef, and ham. Um, okay, so it's beef and ham. Um, so it's fucking beef and pork. And cheese. And obviously there's the sauce too, so that adds a little bit of carbs to it. I should have ordered it with no sauce, but I forgot. Not really. Probably Marinara not that much. doesn't have... Right. Um, I also have my Coca-Cola Move, which, God, I really love these, and I'm almost out of them. I'm going to have to do another one. So, wait a minute. Is it sugar-free? Because if it's uh, not, that's a bunch of carbs. The soda is. Walmart or The soda is sugar-free. Okay. Yeah, right. it's um, aspartame. Fair enough. Asp that's what's up. Oh, aspartame is so nasty. Going off oh. I, God, I hate the taste of aspartame. Same, man. Uh, I got to drink it. You know, I love soda. It, it is what it is.
It is what it is, dude. Anyways, this is Life Plus Cindy I tries just, going I'm off the carnivore me. diet. Sorry, dude. Go ahead. Um, no, no, nothing. I was just saying, I carnivore. just occasionally drink fucking sugar, regular fucking corn syrup soda. Dude, the, shit occasionally. The, the shit with the cane sugar slaps so hard. Diet was oh, a yeah, huge yeah, it's mistake. I did a strict carnivore diet for almost a year. Sugar. I started to give myself permission to eat other foods. It started out with a salad, then I ate some mushrooms, then I started to eat broccoli, and uh, that was a terrible mistake. So. A lot <laughs> back to, yeah, back to the freaking regular diet. A lot of people ask me, Cindy, how on earth can you justify drinking Jack Daniels, but you think broccoli's gonna make you fat? I don't think eating broccoli is going to make me fat in and of itself. I think eating broccoli and salad and mushrooms is gonna lead to me giving myself permission to eat other foods like oatmeal and bananas and crackers. If then use some fucking willpower and moderate. You have the same type of PCOS that I have. You know what I'm talking about. It's almost out of your control. You feel out of control with food. So that's the reason why I can justify not eating broccoli and drinking alcohol. It doesn't send me down a spiral of binging and despair the way that eating something as simple as Hold up. I want to look something up here. Maybe there isn't a conclusive answer on this, but let me see. Does drinking alcohol exacerbate what? What's that? What's this PCOS? That's what she has. PCOS, yeah. yeah. Let's see. She's just trying to justify binge drinking, bro. She should not be drinking if she has PCOS. What the fuck? It throws off your hormones, contributes to inflammation, promotes irregularity with your period, uh, also raises your blood sugar levels, which means it's probably not... It's it's making, making you put on more weight and stopping you from, you know, not just becoming healthier, but potentially losing weight. Because I know she's still trying to, like, lose weight with this shit, right? Like, this is so dumb. And alcohol, most most of that shit has like carbs in it. Sometimes like sugars. This is just dumb. Yeah. No, I just looked it up. It's right here. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay, like, about all the symptoms of PCOS and then adding like alcohol on top of it. Yeah, she should not be drinking if she's if she has PCOS like at all. Yeah, and if weight gain, uh, weight gain is very avoidable with PCOS. Well, it's probably difficult for her because she's drinking on top of it. Mental gymnastics in this one. Yeah, I know, right? Broccoli does. So I went off of the carnivore diet um, eight days ago. It has been nothing but a downward spiral until yesterday, my most shame-filled day. So I ate some burger patties for lunch. By day... <laughs> Turn those burger patties, man. In her time, I, mean, think about I was balls how much money deep. She's wasting at like McDonald's or yeah. Burger just ordering burger patties. They're probably charging her like full price for the meal. Um... I think you can just order that shit by itself. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. I've never tried to I do it. I, I think she it. orders McDoubles without the bun specifically, so she's probably getting charged for a full what? McDouble. That's so That's stupid. That's what I'm saying. That's so dumb. That is. You just Oreo buy milk. tubes of ground beef and just save a shit ton of money. Yeah, exactly. And, make them look and like eggs fried chicken sandwiches and, and cheese fries. Okay? <laughs> I had eaten a bag of tortilla chips. A fried fam. chicken sandwiches and cheese fries. Okay. Wait, fries is carbs. Only size bag of tortilla chips with hummus, salsa, and peanut butter. And when I finished that, oh, I just... Oh, man. Hummus. Cindy's, Cindy's making me want to binge out right now. I yeah, know. That's, that's kind of what I was thinking earlier. She can't help herself. I decided to and order Sonic the day food, before that. I, I had I also course. ordered Sonic. I ate a cheese coney, chili cheese fries, and, and a Domino cheesecake. I have a fucking free pizza. <laughs> I just remembered. Dude, she's going ham. Egg milkshake. Earlier in the day, I went to McDonald's, had a McChicken sandwich with a large fry. The day before that, I had a pumpkin waffle at Waffle House, toast, hash browns with cheese, uh, bacon, eggs, like the whole freaking all-star breakfast. I ate an entire medium Domino's pizza the day before. <laughs> going off for that i also had my chicken sandwich with a vanilla milkshake and fries at mcdonald's that is what trying to count calories and eat normally does to me eating the carnivore diet is far healthier for me that's not eating normally that's just like binging on some of the most unhealthy food that's out there yeah i'm so confused what? like what what is her goal like she seems like she doesn't like cook normally right does she cook rusty 
Uh, not really. She she does from time to time, but it requires a whole lot of effort that she just can't muster up. Dude, there was a video I watched like uh, when she was like worse off. Her hair was like a lot shorter. She was a little bit more overweight and she was like very emotional trying to like cook something like she chopped up some garlic she put it in a skillet with some oil and she just burned the fucking garlic. there's there's yeah there's like still water in there <laughs> yeah yeah and, and she when she burned the garlic she just started crying and she reached for a bottle of like whiskey and she just started down again and said she was going to bed <laughs> that's about right <laughs> Alan says sounds like she's on the extreme bulk yes I, I, i'm on the that fucking is, extreme yeah. bulk <laughs> Then binging on McDonald's and Sonic three times a day. And diet to like an extreme diet because that's like binging all... on McDonald's and Sonic three times a day. Dude, when you're trying to like lose weight, that's all you can fucking think about is like all that shit she was talking about earlier. It's just all 800 extra pounds. So I'm going back on strict carnivore. Beef, bacon, butter, and eggs only. I don't believe that you have to stick to a diet 100 percent to say so that you're on that boring. diet. I think like 90 percent is good, but I will still have the. You know, it's crazy. You can go to, like, a McDonald's or fucking Wendy's or whatever shit you like once in a while and get something, and it's not going to fucking totally destroy you. Yeah, but, like, like off the this dollar is insane. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's like, get... You get what, do you, what do you guys have in the States here? Like, you guys have junior chickens in the States? Yeah. Yeah, get, like, a junior chicken. Maybe if you're feeling fancy, get, like, a slice of cheese on it. And get, like, a, a small, like, Coke. And then that's it. Mm. So yeah, anything in moderation. Yeah. yeah, and then don't go more than like at most twice a week. But even you should be going like once every week, once every week or two, just to be like, no, I need to focus on like cooking more food, getting like actual fucking fresh groceries, and then like making something or cooking something like that. Like, come on. The occasional drink of bourbon whenever I feel like it, and I'll still have my diet coke. Like I had to get rid of things like my oatmeal, Sometimes yogurt. My grocery the, orders. Um, What's wrong with the oatmeal that? and yogurt? Like sometimes I get the freaking bowl at Taco Bell. It's like a much like healthier option than the other shit. Some taco balls. Be here in just a few minutes, and I'll share with you guys what I bought it's to get restarted on carnivore again. Two point three five pounds of chuck roast, uh, cold brew. Wow. Okay. Coffee concentrate. Uh. What? And then I mix this with cream and water. Cream and huh? And some she dilutes her coffee. Tortani syrup. Oh, Tortani sugar-free syrup. But I bought some. That's Tortani, uh... not Tortani. Fuck. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Saren, Saren 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 Fresh yeah, chives to chop. I don't mind. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I had a Syringe, you know. Using herbs I thought, I and seasoning. That was called tortani. <laughs> no, it's tortani. Serengeto. Uh, on the carbon diet, I will use them very sparingly. Oh, it's just no, I'm not going to eat no, a whole no, ass salad bro. or a whole side of broccoli or something like that because it's just it's too slippery of a slope. I bought some pre-hard boiled eggs. Ew. Sometimes I just need to eat something quickly, and these are a really good option. It's gross about hard boiled eggs. Oh no. Pre cooked, just yeah. pre cooked hard boiled eggs. No, it's, I just think it's gross. Think of how much money you're wasting by buying those pre hard boiled Like that cost yeah. more than like Lambert in the chat. It's just like, no, we're on the same page. They're super cheap, too. I bought I mean, some slime. It'd be better to just boil oh, them. Oh shit. Yourself. It's soon ghetto. It's soon ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. The Serengeto sighting. We said we said Serengeto too many times. It's like Beetlejuice <laughs> just appeared. Cobes has to be like dyslexic. <laughs> Lambert Star says pre hard boiled eggs. What the fuck are you guys doing in America? Why is that even a product, dude? I'm on the same page with you. I don't get it. They're available in Canada here too. I think they're gross. Iced pepper jack cheese. Once again, I'll eat a I'll eat a few peppers. I'll eat a few. I consider peppers to be like a seasoning or an herb in this, and I think. Huh? You're not actually what eating is, like pepper. What is the just Get like? Some... <laughs> I'm just so frustrated right now. So yeah, she doesn't, eat, she doesn't eat vegetables because she's worried about carbs, right? That's vegetables, the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, vegetables don't even have that many carbs. Yeah, like, if you look well, at like the, don't. Yeah, no. If you look at like the calorie count for like vegetables, like. It's also like very Eat some goddamn out. celery. She just she just get said some, she had like a fucking pizza too. Get like some broccoli carbs. crowns. Yeah, the cheese and all. Like, come on, the meat has carbs in it. Dude, cheesy broccoli sounds really good right yeah. now. And like the thing with keto too, from what I understand, is like you have to stay under like twenty five or thirty grams of carbs per day. 
I heard it was like 50 grams. Well, but I think there's like different tiers, but... Can I ask Jared about the Dude, keto bulk? Even if you're doing 50 grams of carbs per day, that's like really not <laughs> that much carbs at all. Yeah. Yeah. It depends awesome. on like the... It's calorie negative. Yeah. It depends like on like the type of carb, too. I've heard that. I don't know if it's true, but yeah. Well, the average person eats like 200 grams of carbs a day at least. Yeah, that's my yeah. point. Yeah. But from what I've heard, it's best to stay between like 25 or like 30, 35 grams of carbs if you're trying to go keto. But keto is not something that's sustainable. It's not something you'd want to be doing constantly. That's fine. I got my favorite Applegate Farms no sugar uncured bacon. And that looks like it's all fat. <laughs> yeah, it's that like bacon looks like dog shit. And I think that's fine. I got my. What the fuck is that? That's Dude. standard bacon in America. What? Yeah. yeah. Uh... Dude, you're like when you rent a when you fucking cook that, like you just render a fucking pool of, of fat, dude. Yeah, it shrinks down like half size, too. Yeah, dude, but uh, I do like reusing the fat, though. It's like no, what the My favorite app never mind. We'll get far I give up arms, no yeah, sugar, uncured what, bacon, uh, and finally, the last thing that I got. Beef, of course. Yeah, just is this package. fucking burger patties. The Walmart burger patties. Let's Hell fucking yeah. go. The frozen uh, the hamburger patties. That I What's up? Peeling those burger patties apart is fucking gross. Alex, like it, yeah. They're like frozen or do you yeah, like the That's what she them? said. They're frozen and I think a lot of them have like a piece of paper separating them, but like they're still always just stuck to each other and the paper, yeah. like, the paper like just gets stuck onto the burger patty. Alan says, oh yeah, that's the point of keto. You have to have so few carbs that your body is forced to use an alternative for energy. It's doable, but it takes a while before the process even starts. Yeah, there's there's a lot of issues with keto. Yeah, it takes like at least two weeks or some shit to like get over the keto flu. It's Wizard, not worth it. Would you look into Jupiter the Hybrid for a stream? Sorry for being off topic. Sure, yeah. That seems like pork Never wall bacon. It, it is, I can tell. Yeah, that bacon looked awful. I get from Walmart. I'm getting kind of low on my spring water. I'm going to need to go fill it up soon, but I'm not going to do that until we get. Does she live in an area where she can't just drink the water or something? What's going on? A here? lot of places you can't drink the water. Yeah, well, dude, America's a fucking third world country. What is going on here? Well, it's not like Mexico bad, but you know. Why is it like that good. bad in Mexico? Yeah. There are many reasons why I lied to the. Oh, hold up. We'll watch this one first. So when I first started eating only carnivore, when I went from I went from keto to carnivore, I was eating so horrible. I was eating McDonald's almost every single day. And that yikes. I mean, that cannot, if you're carnivore, you're still doing keto. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right? Like they're not really yeah, keto and carnivore are pretty damn similar, right? Like in any yeah, way, shape, or form. Still just eating meat. <laughs> Well, I think in the carnivore diet, you're you're eating exclusively meat, right? Right. Yeah. I guess you're not eating you can as eat much like a, a wide variety of things if you're on the keto diet, as long as you know you're not going over your limit of carbs. Yeah. There's but... lots of things out there that are like just fat and protein and shit that don't have a fuck ton of carbs. It's not just meat. I think on carnivore you can eat like nuts and stuff and like berries. Yeah, of course. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's cave ban diet. Andy says, yeah, yeah. third world country with a Gucci belt. <laughs> and I was just like, my cravings were insane. I was out of control. I was out of control. So the first couple weeks, even though I was going from ketogenic to carnivore, I still had diarrhea. Like, bad. Like, <laughs> explosive shits, okay? Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> smile. <laughs> she, was sitting, she was sitting on them fucking toilets. Like, what Joe Rogan? What Joe Rogan went on a carnivore too. He said the exact same thing when he went on. <laughs> he said, "Man, I feel great, but I'm just blowing it up." <laughs> That's what I did for about for about blowing up them bathrooms. About two weeks, I would say, and then my body started to get used to it. I think it was just same the increase in to fat. Jordan Peterson. And <laughs> Eat that meat, bucko. And it just kind of can go right through you. I just did whatever I was doing. Start tripping balls. <laughs> and then it cleared up after about two weeks. My body started to adapt. And now I, you definitely go to the bathroom less. Like you do not go every day at all. Because when you eat animal products, your body 
it, your body just absorbs all of it. It's so like good for your body yeah, and bio. You're backed up, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Available that your body is able to absorb all of that meat and all of that butter, I'm and a bit there's not affected by the cat. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, what she's saying it's like your body has oh, sorry, to put it. Yeah. No, I was I was just gonna say your body has to put in a lot of effort to digest meat. It's why you get the meat sweats. It's like a real thing. So yeah, like come a lot on. to poop out. There's not a lot of waste. There's That's not a lot of Kim Jong Un like, logic. You remember that like uh, that rumor that they say like oh the great leader. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't pee or poop. <laughs> and neither does Cindy. Just gets his colon irrigated. Like once a week. There's not a lot to poop out. There's not a lot of waste. There's not a lot of like unnecessary fiber just unnecessary fiber it's fermenting around in your guts it Cindy really not. does not like fiber fiber is good for your gut it helps yeah. clean you yeah. out i know it's it's fucking yeah, it helps baffling you so you only go i probably go every two to three days for reality unless I, completely backwards whoa, what weird. she shits like twice a week <laughs> Damn, that's not dude. good yeah i shit like twice a week eat like a bunch of cheese or something. If, I may even get a little, <laughs> a little diarrhea, but that doesn't happen very often. I know how confusing it is. I'm getting the liquid shit, and it really sucks. All I can say is that You're I just don't personally torturing yourself. Like that's what it sounds like. Sounds very uncomfortable. Believe you need yeah. fiber, but that's you got to make your own decision about that. And listen to your. <laughs> you got to make your own decision about that. All right, this is the last video of the night here. There this is titled. Uh, Life Plus Cindy makes an attempt at telling the truth. Once again, I want to give a shout out to the Cindy Clips channel. Go check it out. Go subscribe if you like this shit. They are doing God's work with uh, fucking clipping this shit because goddamn she is. He's just completely unwatchable. There are many reasons why I lie really? to the people in my life. So I have lied to you multiple times, my audience. Apologize and make amends when you've hurt someone through manipulation or lies. And that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm apologizing to you, my audience, for the stupid things I've done. And, and these are real apologies. These are not the fake apologies that I usually do because I will apologize. <laughs> I'm not lying this time, guys. Guys, but it won't be real. It'll just be words to try to get my way. To try oh, okay. <laughs> try to manipulate the other person to believe me and come back to me and accept yeah i'm a fucking manipulator to me um this is a real apology this time in today's video i'm going to be clarifying some of the lies and omissions that i told and the reasons cindy later deleted this video oh. why i told them on this channel so the first thing that i want to clarify is the timeline of the mistress and baby situation that motherfucker Bravo. emailed me so i opened it up and read it and I OCP runs the cops says I bet she craps bricks too similar to giving a baby toilets that's all I'll say I literally fell to the ground screaming and crying so he told me someone he slept with got pregnant he did not tell me about the mistress situation or any it of that like shit you tell your fucking therapist like yeah <laughs> Don't put this on the internet. So when I found so that out, I did not tell you uh, on the vlogs. He told me some bullshit dates that didn't make any sense because he was lying. And he had me convinced of this. So I, I thought there was no reason for me to talk about this on the vlog. So the next thing that I kind of twisted around and didn't tell the whole truth was about his mistress. Um, I said that he had apparently been with somebody for a year. The reason why I thought that is because I found a Reddit account of his where he was talking. Oh my God. About how he had been with this girl for a year. And when I confronted him about it, he was like, oh, no, I was just making stuff up just to at first. <laughs> Master manipulator. First I thought it was true. Then he incredible liar convinced me because he was so amazing. Al amazing. Alan says, oh, what is, is happening with this person and why is she vlogging so much about her diet? Because she thinks that people care and she's very self-important and egotistical. Well, good. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, by, by the way, tune in every Tuesday for the weight loss streams. Yeah, we're doing weight loss streams every <laughs> Tuesday from now on. We'll be doing one this coming Tuesday. At, Where at, we'll also like, be talking about diet. Yes. But, you gonna watch anyway. like fitness cows or whatever? Potentially. Uh, yeah. yeah. Probably. Probably we some Cindy have... too, because like all her Maybe, diet yeah. it is is pretty pretty uh pretty it's nice. pretty fucking funny. Yeah. Where he said yeah. he had a silver tongue, and uh, I also wanted to protect him, and limbs. I didn't want. I. Rusty. I don't know. Rusty, are you there? Yeah, what's up? Okay, who is she talking about in this video? She's uh, talking about Andrew, her ex-husband. Her ex-husband. She was married? Yeah, yes. she was like eight years or something like that, I think. Whoa. 
So yeah. how uh, how would you describe their relationship? Abusive. Uh, she completely took advantage of him in every single way. Um, if if they weren't like together in the same room, he was cheating on her. Um, she did her manipulation shtick to him all the time with I'll several right different back. things. Continue. And <clears throat> like you see with what she said, like she stalked him online, uh, found Reddit accounts, confronted him about stuff. So stalked just, him. So stalked him while they were married or after? As things were going sour. Oh, okay. So she she knew like which way the wind was blowing, and she was like, okay. My husband's cheating on me, or I have a feeling my husband's cheating on me, so I'm going to do some digging. Mm hmm. Absolutely. She's well, she's that kind. Okay. Well, I mean, if you, I'm, I'm going to give her a little credit here. If you have a feeling that your, you know, significant other is cheating on you, you know, like, what do you do? Do you, like, I've never been in this situation before. Do you look at their phone? Do you, uh, look at their social media? Like, what, what would you do? You confront the person, uh, so you, try to get just, the truth out of them, and not in a standoffish way. You actually sit down and have a conversation with this person to try to figure out, A, where you two are as people, B, where your relationship is going, and, you know, C, should it just fucking end right now? Like, be people about it, you know? Okay, okay. Um, all right, yeah, that sounds, that sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, just people don't do that, though, especially not people like Cindy. I guarantee you, she when she went to confront the situation, she blew up on him and things went haywire. Right. Yeah, because, um, well, if I if you know, most people, if they're found out they're being cheated on, they probably, you know, they'd be like freaking the fuck out. Right. So, yeah, for sure. But, yeah. you know, when you're at 40 years old, you have to, like, realize certain things about life just may happen to you and confront them like a logical human being so that you can work through a situation, not leave scars everywhere for everyone involved, including yourself. Because think about the mental stress you have to go through to feel like you're in a situation where you have to stalk a significant other, you know? Like, that's mm. insanely stressful. Okay. Uh, old man Rusty <laughs> with the wise, sagely advice. By the way, I'm thinking of doing a members stream after this. Would you guys like to join me if we end in like five minutes here? Five ten minutes. I am out for tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you other guys thinking? What are we gonna be covering? Yeah, uh, we might just be chatting for a bit, covering whatever we feel like, maybe taking suggestions. Just be chilling. Just chill stream. Yeah, for members. Okay. We'll do I like, a, we'll do like an after show. Sure, yeah, I'm down for that. I can uh, be in there for like an hour. Ethan in the chat says, 40 year old should not be freaking out about a breakout on a relationship." Yeah, especially like posting all of this personal information to YouTube. Like, come on. If it's a marriage, though, like I'd be freaking out if my marriage was failing. Sure, but that's why I added the caveat. Like, particularly posting the stuff to YouTube. Like, come on. I don't know how like experienced she is with like uh, other relationships. Um, was she married before? Did she have boyfriends before Rusty? Like, uh... I I'm really unsure about everything before Andrew, but I'm sure she's had boyfriends before and stuff like that. And I'm it's sure all too. probably well, went the very same way as yeah. this. I'm thinking that she's had boyfriends before, but like they're very short term relationships, like under a year, probably under six months. Yeah. Dude, she somehow got her hooks into Andrew and kept him on the leash for a while. Yeah. Andrew was, you know, Andrew found a way to cope, at least for a while. I, I don't know how like, can... she got Andrew to propose. He died inside. He just oh. wasn't there anymore. Just gave he up. He sacrificed there. himself to Cindy. No. He's just going How through life. Fucking dirty. He did me. Um, yeah, so I believed all his bullshit, but I knew he was staying with a girl um, since the end of February. So he had me convinced that she probably wasn't even really pregnant. And it wasn't until the very end um, that he finally came clean and told me she is definitely pregnant. She's due at the end. Just a reminder, this video is supposed to be about Cindy coming of, clean. <laughs> what was it, the end of June or whatever it was? I know this yeah, is very muddy. Yeah. Coming clean about? She's just blaming someone else. Like, coming guys, clean I'm about coming. everything that's wrong with her and, like, everything bad that she's done. Guys, I'm Wait, coming clean. What? It's everyone okay, else's what, fault. <laughs> what bad things has she done, though? I just don't get it. I, I, she's a train wreck. That's all I've gotten from this abusive to everyone around her okay can we have like an example uh other than like i guess other than the stalking thing when she was with andrew she was very demanding of having sex with him uh only when she wanted and it could only be in the ways that she wanted i already gave the example of like 
he had to pretty much be within line of sight or something was fucking awry. So the idea that he was cheating on her wasn't just an idea that she had at one point along the line. This is something that was always in her mind and he was always being accused of it. Okay, so she was putting in, him in like a position where like, okay, I'm going to cheat on you. Yeah. Not, you know, not saying that it's, you know, like he's not at fault though, but like if you're doing that, yeah, for sure. People get pushed to a point, like, realistically, like, outside of the idealis- idealistic expectations of how people should treat each other, you know, people lose their fucking minds in that kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah, me, yeah. you're talking about him cheating, right? Yeah. Yeah, not really excusable, but it is understandable on some level, I would say. Because it's like, you know... <laughs> I'm not really going to judge the guy too harshly, but, like, if you're like, do you kind of fuck up? It's like, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, you know, the fucking ideal thing would be get the fuck out of there and then pursue somebody else. But, yeah. right, sit down yeah, with her, give her a talk. I got to go. This this ain't working. Yeah, but I guess if there's no way of talking to her. Then... I would also understand him, him being scared of that, too, and confronting yeah. her. Yeah. You know what? Now that I think about it, if I'm not mistaken, I think he tried to get, a, or maybe it was like right after they broke up, he or she followed him to Colorado. Oh, I remember no. something like that. And unclear because the timeline is very muddy to me too. Because it was all just a blur, a haze of just pain and grief. It's kind of hard for me to put it all together, but this is the truth. Um, I later found out that his family knew about her and the baby this whole time since January. Nobody told me. Um, Anyway, that hurts. Fucking business. Man, he played me so hard, y'all. He played me so hard. You know, no matter how rocky our relationship was, what he did to me those last couple months, how he played me and her at the same time is so fucking wrong. Um, And I did kick him out. That is not a lie. I did kick him out. I packed up all of his shit because I found a text on his phone where he told her he loved her. And when he walked out that door with that last box, I was I was sitting in the kitchen floor drinking Jack Daniels, bawling my eyes out. Um, those are kind of the things. I thought she was going to say drinking and jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> drinking, I was she's jacking. I was jorking She's it. asserting dominance there. Yeah, she's just like staring at him, drinking a bottle of Jack and just jerking it. So that I didn't uh, tell the truth about and it was out of because I was trying to protect him. So the other thing I wanted to clarify is uh, people think that I slashed my own tire to to make Andrew come and save me in the middle of the night. That That sounds like something she would do. Mm -hmm. Is not true at all. For people saying that there was bloody gauze on the ground, do you think I'd be stupid enough to slash my own tire, put bloody gauze on it, just leave it right there on the ground in the video? That's so fucking stupid. He told me that he drove to the police station and that they held okay, her back and okay, he got away on, is what he told me. At the- but in one of like a recent video, did she have a cut hand? No, I'd- not that I'm aware of. I don't okay. know. Then I guess she didn't cut herself then. This time it was not true. That was the truth that he told me later. So that's what happened that night. I didn't tell the whole story there because I was acting incredibly recklessly and also once again trying to protect him. So those are really the only things I can think about that I have omitted or not told the full truth about. Now I believe I have told you everything. If you want to become a member, I'm going to do a members only live stream today. So someone has unearthed. Oh shit. Um, That's Andrew's what you're Reddit to do, bro. He wrote some very painful things um, about <laughs> me uh, and about things, uh, ways that I had abused him. Um, I didn't go into the details of the things that I actually did because obviously it's really bad. I mentioned it in a video, the video that I never should have made where I talked about the situation. Um, I mentioned that I saw Andrew's Reddit situation with this Andrew individual. Reddit post and somebody went somehow Would and you found them, to Cindy? which blows my mind. You're not not so. No. Um, what is it? A lot of the things Become that he wrote were member. true. I would not give her any money. Um, I was horrible to him for years. I abused him emotionally for years. I was an emotional vampire to him. Uh, I damaged him. I hurt him. Chloe says one of her shaky voices to tell. Oh, obviously. Yeah, clearly. Um, I destroyed our marriage. Um, I've always known this. Yeah, I should have never mentioned that that Reddit account. But I really didn't think anybody would be able to find it just based on that. But as you can imagine, uh, it's been a tough day. So, limbs is over here. That's what I was saying when I was doing my hands. Uh-oh. Hands like this. You can see his limbs. All right. I think we'll save that one for next time, actually. That's a new video starting. We'll go over um, limbs and then the limbs break up next time. We cover for something. sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, thank you guys for coming on, Rusty. We'll see you later. Of course, yeah. It's been great, guys. Yeah, it's 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 really fun doing this show, honestly. It's really fun. All right, peace out, dog. We are peace going out. to go into the members after show now. So members, we'll see you in about five, ten minutes. We'll see you then. Keep an eye out for that. And but for now, peace out. <laughs>